that is possible. Just like this cat here that uh, decided to have some good time playing alone out there. Oh, <laughs> just having fun on their own. You see, these animals are just uh, extremely fun and interesting, you see? And they also love to have fun themselves and play. Cat with OCD. Oh, cats can get OCD. Why? OCD are those metal diseases, my friend. Uh, is that what it is? Ah, uh, these ones have stressed their cat. Why? What's up with the cat? Oh, my God. How? I didn't know this can happen to cats. English people, this is not normal. That cat is just hungry. Oh, it needs proper diet. Look at this. Wow, oh my god. Why is it working like this? Please, good vibes soul. Always say no to drugs. Don't give drugs to animals. And spread love and good vibes. Care for them like you do for yourself. This ones, they just need some loving and hugging. And they'll be alright. Ah, and there's the acrobat cat here. Wait, 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 wait. This one knows how to do his own stuff. Alan will only walk on the water. It takes him some time to figure out how to do it. Wait, but look how determined he is. Hmm. <laughs> According to the Bible, God created evil. He created both good and bad. And he created the devil. So when the devil tempts you, he's only doing what God created him to do. So it makes no sense. I mean, if you're going to create evil and then create somebody to tempt you with that evil, uh, here on earth, we have uh, in the judicial system something called entrapment. And that's exactly what it is. Hey, look at this monkey here. The monkey and the snake are playing, and the other cobra is probably surprised. Oh my god, I didn't know this one is this ruthless. If you can handle my friend like that, I need to chill. Just like this Prajama Maya. Prajama Maya is a type of fish that is mysteriously looking. Look at this. Oh my god. Looks like some stone with eyes, but uh, I'm surprised it's a fish. English people, do you eat this one? Please uh, do not. Do not eat this one. Uh, I beg you good people of earth, you see, just let it be, look it looks like it even have wings in the water, ah, this one is full of good vibes, you see, just need some greens there and just let this one be, hmm, wah, look at the, ah, this is good vibes fish, this one is, hey, thank you, ah, at least grab something uh, greenish or from the farm, just let that fish be, gravity isn't real. And it can be proved using a mandarin, crazy stuff. One ten pound anvil floats in mercury. Oh, you mean mercury is that dense? Or what's up? Or this is about those chemistry stuff. NASA gets caught faking zero G on live stream. Oh, oh, wait a minute. How is that possible? Huh. This video alone debunks gravity. Now think about it my friends, if uh, something this big can float on uh, Mercury, then it's crazy stuff what they have been telling us about gravity. Gravity is real. density, buoyancy and electromagnetism explains this. What most people think is gravity, you see, you can see it's uh, explained here, using this uh, illustration. Okay, it's good vibes. <laughs> that thing is so adorable. I'm gonna ruin that for you. Meet the Margay. They're found in Central and South America, and like most cats, they are elite hunters. And they hunt everything. Birds, rodents, sloths, porcupines, monkeys. The only difference is the Margay has a super unique way of hunting. They can mimic the sounds of their prey like a parrot. In other words, they will literally hide in a bush and mimic the sound of a struggling baby. This is one sheet of paper. Look at my man's coat like that. There's no tears, there's no sellotape. The cuts on the paper is well, the cuts that you can see. But as you can see, it doesn't quite make sense. Jesus is a metaphor for the sun. And so, I, so boiling it down, Christianity is sun worship based on astrology. Because nobody owns the sun. So 
obviously the son belongs to God, so it's God's son, and he's the light of the world. Of course the son's the light of the world. What else lights the world if it's not the son? And he has 12 helpers. Now, of course, the 12 signs of the zodiac, the 12 months of the year. Uh, he is our risen savior. Of course, it rises every morning about 5.30. And the sun is your savior. If it don't come up, we're dead. So once you start breaking down the symbols in the Old and the New Testament, you begin to see that Christianity is basically astrology and sun worship. But it has been so well hidden and, and so, so cleverly disguised. And once you start breaking it down and reading the whole story, it becomes overwhelmingly obvious this is what we're talking about. He has a virgin birth. He's born of a virgin, of course. Virgin birth because one of the constellations of the zodiac is Virgo, Virgo the virgin. This is why Judas gives Jesus the kiss of death, because Judas represents Scorpio. And Scorpio gives the God's son, the light of the world, the kiss of death. Brutal attack. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> What's going on here? Well, the, the duck has decided to take praying to another level. The kitten seems not to understand. Just like this dog here, my friends, they decided to go through the fence in a funny way. Wow! Even the other dog was surprised how their friend could do that. Look at this sage of a daughter, Melon. Oh my god. He decided to hide himself inside. The farmer decided to keep it going. The next day, the hedgehog returned with his family to steal more. The farmer scolded them sternly, but decided to give them another chance. Perhaps realizing their mistake, the hedgehog brought a gift the following day to apologize. The farmer accepted the gesture to prevent further mischief. The farmer decided to adopt the hedgehogs. In return, the little hedgehog patrolled the watermelon patch daily, guarding the farmer crops, and the farmer often rewarded them with fresh watermelons as a treat. This unique relationship, my friends, where the farmers of Tamedon were never stolen again. Ah, and the hedgehogs, well, they never got scared. This is good vibes. Ah, just like this dog that descended to dance to the rhythm of the music around. This one is nice. Probably a skinwalker or just another good vibes dog. Is the dancing? Oh, it is sick. Kai, oh, wait. My god, I thought it was dancing. Oh, it is a sick. What type of sickness is this? The people who designed the system thousands of years ago realized that there's two of you. There's the one that your mother gave birth to, that God created, so to speak. Even your father and your mother have no idea what you're thinking or what you will do. You don't even know. They have no control over you, your flesh and blood self. But somebody has to control this show. There is no law on the books anywhere in this country that applies to you as an individual creature. The ancient Phoenician Canaanites developed a system by which they would assign to every person a second you. There is no law that applies to you personally, so the system has made each one of you a corporation. How now do you distinguish which one, uh, when someone's addressing you, that they're addressing you as the one that your mother gave birth to, or the corporate you? According to British law, when you sign your name, upper and lower case, that is applying to your body. There is no law that can be applied to an upper and lower case name. Therefore, every piece of important bills, insurance, driver's license, identification, taxes, by law, international maritime admiralty banking law, your name must appear in all capital letters. You will never get a bill or anything that has your name upper and lower case because there is no law that applies to an upper and lower case name, period. Incredible moment. This volcano erupts after years. Mount Etna eruption. This is recent by the way, in June of 2024.
This is unbelievable. <laughs> This motor is moving real fire. Those people living near this mountain must have been extremely frightened. Stop tweaking about life for a second and look at this image. You are literally a single cell that is wearing armor and grew a lot. Your whole brain, your spinal column is this, but bigger. You, you added some meat and we walk around our whole lives thinking that we are the meat. This stuff? It's all temporary. It's all rented. Our payment is time. So more than anything, this is a call for people to stop reducing God to a single book because you think the infinite is going to just be in a single book. Yes, it can tell you about that, but you can't even think about what the infinite is. We can't even think about what we are. And when you figure out what you are, you will figure out what God is. From atheist to Christian in less than a minute. If I were still an atheist, this one line of evidence would convince me that God exists. Virtually every uh, scientist in the world now believes the universe began at some point in the past. In fact, that the universe is not eternal. It's not eternal. It has not always existed. The proof is now in place that the universe had a beginning. Well, that makes a strong argument for God because whatever begins to exist has a cause. Therefore, for. There must be a cause behind the universe. Well, then he asks the question, what kind of a cause can bring a universe into existence? It must be transcendent because it existed apart from the creation. It must be timeless or eternal because it existed before physical time came into being. It must be immaterial or spirit because it existed before the physical world was created. It must be powerful given the immensity of the creation event. It must be smart given the precision of the creation event. It must be caring because he created such a wonderful habitat for us to exist in. It mm. must be personal because he had to make the decision to create and then the scientific principle of Occam's razor tells us it would be just one creator. Follow or subscribe for more. If you're watching this video, chances are you are spiritually gifted because TikTok is recommending you spiritual videos, right? But you don't really realize perhaps how special you really are because you're part of the handful of people where you're becoming a future human being. Like in the future, human beings will be like you, where anything can be happening, anything can be going on in the world, and you're just chill. You're just content because you know how to master your mind. You know how to master your emotions. You've been, you've been meditating enough. You've been doing the work. You know, you've been exploring different modalities of how to become awake. And you guys know all those different methods. But you are essentially a human being from the new earth. You know, of course, the journey isn't over. It's a lifelong journey. You know, you, you, awakening doesn't have a bottom. You can always be more awake than you were previously because God, reality, the universe, it's infinite. It's a bottomless pit. So you can always have deeper and deeper realizations. Don't ever call yourself, oh, that's it, I'm enlightened, I'm awake. Just like I never say in my TikToks, hey guys, I'm enlightened, I did it. I never say that because it's not true. There can still be anger, there can still be discomfort. I mean, simple things like maybe just sitting in the movie theater like I have this, like if I'm sitting in the movie theater and there's a quiet moment in the movie theater and somebody starts eating popcorn or opening up candy, that really irritates me. I hate like little sounds that grab my attention. I'm really like hypersensitive to that. 
And that takes away my enjoyment of life. And if probably if I meditated even more, worked on myself even more, that wouldn't phase me. You know, there's a natural kind of shedding of the ego of this thing that wants to control, that wants things to be a certain way, right? But just, you know, don't gaslight yourself. You are a special human being for learning how to master your thoughts and emotions so that you're just taking your emotions from the moment. 99% of people take their emotions from their minds, from concepts about the moment or the future or the past. But you know how to get your emotions from the five senses and that's a superpower. So yeah, don't look at yourself as crazy or just weird or no, this is the way humans are supposed to be if we are even to survive. Our survival depends on it. Humanity will destroy itself if it doesn't wake up, if it doesn't understand how to see itself as one. When you see yourself as something different, when humanity sees itself as segmented parts, that's why we have wars. That's why we have conflicts. You could blame it on bad parenting. That's the only reason why there are any wars or conflicts in, in the world. Otherwise, people would just be emotionally intelligent enough not to wage war. It's really that simple. To praise him sun and moon and praise him all you shining This is going to blow your that's mind. That's not just a poetic idea. That's really happening because stars don't just shine stars also sing let me just show you a couple more stars this one is called the vela pulsar and it's magnificent it's a thousand light years away it's a highly magnet magnetized neutron star right it simply means this star exploded into a supernova and in the case of the vela pulsar it collapsed back on itself in a magnetic entity and as a pulsar, it began oscillating on its axis. This one oscillates 11 times a second on its axis. And as it is oscillating, you can see what's happening. It's shooting a radio frequency out of itself. When they aimed the radio telescopes at the Vela Pulsar, this is what they heard. And this is what this guy does 24-7, day and night, 365 days a year. This is what, from a thousand light years away, the Vela Pulsar sounds like right now. This is it. Listen to this. Now, I, I don't know about you, but I, that blew me away. I'm thinking, wow, this is incredible. You're like, well, what does it mean? I don't know. Is that some kind of Morse code for something? Or what, what, what does all that mean? I don't know what it means, but and I don't want to, you know, go too crazy here, but maybe the Vela Pulsar got wind somehow innately of Psalm 148, verse 3, and says, it says, praise him, sun and moon, and all you shining stars. We're a shining star. We should praise him. Well, how are we going to praise him? I know. Let's oscillate 11 times a second on our axis and see if we can send a radio signal into the universe that would join in the symphony of God's wow, praise wow, wow, from wow. all creation. It's singing. The stars are singing to him. I recently stumbled on 47 Tuck. It's a, a beautiful uh, cluster of stars. Let's show you the picture of it here. There are 12 of these super giant blue stars in there. Wow. But the things that are of interest to us tonight are these millisecond pulsars. And right now, tonight, while we're sitting in this room, the 16 recorded millisecond pulsars and 47 tuck are making this sound right now. Okay. I was a You gotta keep watching, keep watching. No, God has his own string section. <laughs> wow. He's isn't that beautiful. And we just looked at one. 11 times a second pulsar and 16 millisecond pulsars and you start seeing Psalm 48 come to life but look down at verse 7 it says praise the Lord from the earth you great sea creatures in all deeps 
the, the whale songs could sound like this right here. Take a listen. We don't know the expanse of the worship that is continually surrounding the throne of God. And our songs are great, but God isn't banking on our songs because he is surrounded by a symphony that's bigger than our wow. wildest dreams wow. tonight. Stars sing and whales sing and the birds fly. And I just tried to imagine what would it sound like if you could just for a second be God and hear what he hears. And I can't get us there tonight, but I, I came close. I had a friend who helped me with this little iPad program. And, and I'm not a DJ, but I, I just a little thing, just quickly, and I, I want you to see how this works. Now, this guy, we didn't look at his picture. He's PSR B0329-54. And he's only rotating one and a half times per second, which is not all that much, but we need him in our little experiment we're going to do here, okay? Another star. Um, and then we had the Vela Pulsar. You remember the Vela Pulsar, right? So that's that guy. That's a little too fast for what we're trying to do, so we're going to slow that down, okay? And so we're going to put the uh, millisecond guys in there. The ones you just heard, here they come. Revelation 13 verse 3 And all the world wondered after the beast. Revelation 18 23 For thy merchants were the great men of the earth, for by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. Has the whole earth been colonized by one group of people? Daniel 7 verse 23 The fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon earth, which shall be diverse from all kingdoms, and shall devour the whole earth, and shall tread it down, and break it in pieces. One final very important thing is that to remember it doesn't matter what happens. It matters what you do with what happens. That's what makes the difference in your reality. It makes all the difference in the world. Does that make sense? What happens to bad people when they pass away? Let's talk about it. My name is Christina. I go by Christina the Medium here on TikTok. And before I start this conversation, let me preface this by saying that this is just my truth. It does not have to be yours. 
I've gathered this information over the years from spirits and doing readings, spirit guides, and many other higher dimensional beings when I've asked them this question. But I know this one is a controversial topic, so I hope that you'll hear this conversation that we're about to have with your heart. So first and foremost, my guides, spirits, angels always tell me the same thing. No matter what you did in life, you are greeted by the same energy that is available to everyone. The energy of unconditional love and the access to spirit or source on the other side. They've said an all loving God could never throw their children out. That would be like throwing the baby out with the bathwater for making mistakes. We are here on earth to learn and to grow and to have experiences and even in scary experiences, traumatic experiences, we learn things about ourselves and how to protect ourselves better. So in my experience, no matter how wicked you are, you are still welcomed with the same energy of unconditional love and welcomed into the other side. Now, to preface this also, I should say that, let's say that, for example, Saddam Hussein passed away in you know the early 2000s. He is not sitting up on some cloud with your grandma <laughs> in the same plane of existence. Because when he left Earthside, he was vibrating at an extremely low rate, right? Because of the things he was involved in. And the other side is all about energetic alignment and matches. So when Homeboy passed away, he did not go to the upper rungs of the astral. That's usually not where they go. They usually go to the libraries, to the healing place, so that they can be taught by the masters that are over on the other side. To let them know, like, hey, this is what you did. You can see the ramifications of your actions now. How are you going to fix it? Another thing that they've showed me with people who are what we would term bad is during their life review, they are made to feel how they affected other people from every perspective. So let's say that you were married to a narcissistic and abusive partner and that person really hurt you over the years, physically, mentally, emotionally. When that abusive partner gets over to the other side and has their life review, they're going to be made to feel what you felt in every now moment when you were suffering abuse by that person. They will feel all of those lows that you felt, all of the hurt, everything that they chipped away at in terms of your self-esteem, they will feel all of it during their life review. And most often it makes these souls go, oh wow, I didn't realize how badly I hurt them. We should probably do this again so that we can get this right. And that's when we start making karmic contracts with one another. But long story short, every soul is welcomed with the same energy, but we go to different places on the astral plane. A, based on what we perceive we are going to experience. Often these evil souls think they're going to hell, so they often have a hellish experience upon their passing. And once they realize they can leave that, then they start to go into the healing place or into uh, where the teachers teach so that they can learn not to do the same things. I hope this makes sense and I hope this helps to heal your heart just a little bit more. Love y'all so much. Bon appétit. Thank you very much for watching all this way up to this far. Be blessed abundantly. And may all your worries be taken away by God Jesus Christ. This is like uh, some video there that has passed talking about uh, the worship of the stars and the waves to God and his greatness. And uh, it is just incredible, my friends, you see, because the God that we believe in here yeah, is uh, great and can do a lot of things in our lives, can change our lives, take away our worries, and is very loving and forgiving. And all of us, my friends, should be like God in terms of love and care for your neighbor like you do for yourself. I believe you have subscribed and leave left behind comments, you see? Before we even uh, wrap up the video, let's hear what the word of God has for us today. This righteousness from God comes through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe there is no difference for all have sinned and all fall short of the glory of God and are justified freely by his grace 
through the redemption that came by Jesus Christ. Wow, that was in Romans 3, 22. God bless you all.